What's the deal, y'all? Today, I'm just going to walk you through how to make this obituary. Put it out, kiddo. I'm going to walk you through how to make this obituary, so check it out right now. My outside life. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be making an Iron Man obituary, a.k.a. Tony Stark. So, let's get right into it. Okay, so you want to make sure that, all right, first of all, I'm going to be working in inches because I don't know how to convert pixels. Secondly, resolution has to be 300. Um, we're going to go with 17 on the width, 11 on the height. That is a full size sheet of paper. All right. First off, we got to make sure this is in percentage so we can split it down the middle because we're going to be folding this, this sheet in half. All right. I think I want to use this photo for the cover. So I'm just drag this over to here place it like you know in the center or something all right let's zoom in a little let's bump the contrast up on them a little bit maybe okay now got to cut them out so we're going to use a magic wand tool and then we're just going to hit this button right here, this magic button, is gonna do all the work for us. It's gonna cut it out. Bam. Okay. Now we just gonna mask him. You can hit that button right there, and it gets rid of the background. Easy, right? We almost there. All right. If you can't see your swatches and you want to use swatches, just hit window at the top, and then you know, click on swatches, and it'll pop up. Let's see, I think I want to use like this red right here. Let's put that in the background. It's kind of strong. I'm gonna trash this mask so that now it's just cut out. The background is forever gone. All right, now I'm gonna add a new layer on top. And I think I'm probably gonna go with like a golden color. We're doing that golden color to, to transparent and it's right in the basics when you click that middle one. It'll probably be set to whatever your foreground color is. My foreground color is this peachy yellowish color, so that's why my gradient is that color. You just double click on the foreground color on the left side, then you can change it to whatever color you want. That's kind of cool. Let's maybe pull this back so it's a little harsh. Iron Man colors are sort of like, you know, a little darker, usually. It's like more of a muted, dark, warm tone. That yellow's still kind of strong, but I don't know, maybe I keep it that way. So now, I'm gonna go to matting, and I'm gonna go to defrage, and set that to maybe like two or three pixels. And what that does is get rid of like that little white edge around your cutout if it's a white edge around it. Uh, let's see if I like any of these blend modes. You can scroll through the blend modes to see how they affect the layer. And then depending on what the blend mode is on top of, it'll look different. See? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go to edit, transform, and just flip this horizontally. I want that to be on that side, actually, I think. I don't know. I'm just filling this out, y'all. Like, I don't have a clear-cut plan. I just know how obituaries are made. But as far as design goes, we're, we're winging it right now. Hmm. Let's put some clouds in the background. That's a... Uh, that's a traditional thing to do. I want to call it traditional and not not cliche. So yeah, maybe these. I want something that's, you know, not all cut out weird at the bottom and stuff. That'll fit into this canvas kind of nice. Let's blow that up. Let's just edit free transform or command T. Okay. 
Okay, let's just move that to the bottom. And then let's see like what these blend modes do to it. I kind of like that, that's dope. And then let's just pull it up so that it fills the whole screen or the whole document. Okay, now I'm just gonna fade that part off with the gradient that we used before to make that yellow. Okay, now I want it to like sorta be bright in some areas. So I'm just gonna use a soft brush with red because it suit is you know that reddish color and then maybe one with gold because yeah that's kind of dope okay I'm gonna fill this up now with black and then we're gonna go to render and then lens flare and then we have these four lovely lens flares to pick from you can always also just google lens flare and there's a bunch online that you can use. But I'm gonna just use this one. Let's give it like a little bit of a, you feel me? So like a sun glare, like maybe the sun is, if it's not in the background, it's just, it's hitting his helmet just at the right spot. And then at the top, you know, something nice like in loving memory of or remembering or most of my obituaries, it says something like this. Most of all obituaries, they say something like, loving memory of or remembering so yeah we'll just put that there uh, let's duplicate that just because I want the same font it's just faster to do that just blow Tony up let's duplicate that again something a little like you know kind of sort of elegant I guess For those of you wondering, there's a lot of free fonts you can get online. I just, I rarely ever pay for fonts. I just, there's so many free ones that are great. But you just go to uh, thefont.com. Okay, I think I like that. Kind of hard to read, but I'll fix that in a second. Oh, there we go. Man, now for Tony, Let's see, let's make Tony look a little like, uh, golden. I have these gold presets. Let's pull that shadow back so we can read it. Wow, that's dope. I'm rasterize the layer style. Just a little bit, it's a little too yellowy. And then, yep, drop shadow, bring that back. There we go. So you have to have this option on the right thing, otherwise you might not see your results. So bevel just adds like, you know, like an edge to it, a cool sort of chiseled edge. Tony. It's just a soft brush. Set the screen. And I'm gonna put like a little lens blur in the background on a cloud layer. That way it puts more focus onto Tony. And I think that looks great. So according to the MCU, you know. He's born in 1970, 70s guy. So I'm gonna put that on here, May 29th, 1970. Okay, so we get his birth date and his death date on here, right down at the bottom. 2023, oh, well, I guess technically I'm not late. Technically I'm killing him off about a year early. Sorry, Tony. Let's scour the internet for some more Tony Stark pictures. Let's do a picture of just him. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this and paste it in here and then I'm gonna enlarge it. I want it to go right there. That's, that's like epic. Look at that. Just 
blend in those edges, keep getting those sharp edges away. Okay, I'm feeling that right there. Okay, so now let's work on the back side. If you haven't noticed, uh, the front, this is like, okay, imagine holding a magazine and then you open it up and then you turn it around so that you can see the cover and the back cover. It's gonna be just like this, like the, the cover is gonna be on the right and the back cover is gonna be on the left. So that's why this is being designed in this fashion. I don't know how I wanna put them on here, maybe like something something like subtle. Whoa, what was that? Ooh, I think something subtle like that is gonna do the trick. Now let's put like a metal texture because you know, his, his, his body is, uh, or not his body, but his armor is made out of some type of metal. People think it's iron, but it, it actually isn't. It's not an iron suit. So I just wanna use this metal texture and like maybe put it into the background. I'm gonna just copy one from Google Images. And then, of course, set it to some type of blend mode. Just gonna fade it away with the gradient. If you haven't noticed, like, we just use the same tools again and again, like the same few tools to get the job done. Let's make that black, it's easier to read. All right, now I wanna do, oh, hmm. I don't know. Just find something you like and then move on. Give this a glow. With the soft light, set the screen. Just like how I did on the suit. And then just glow his chest. Do I want to do the chest? Now let's put his logo. So copy and paste it from Google. Cause he, he was known as two things, right? He was Iron Man and he was Tony Stark. Tony Stark. I got an S on the end of this Stark. I need to fix that. Get that right where we want it. Okay. So funeral home would probably go like right here somewhere. color so we probably put like the funeral date place right here if possible let's see shrink that down a little bit like that Let's make the text white. All right, and then on the back side, since I've already made like a ton of obituaries, I'll just use an old PSD for reference. But typically on the back, it'd have like either a poem or if it's like, if it's a funeral service where there's like gonna be pallbearers, they will be listed here. But let's see, here I'll put, whoops, cancel, I don't wanna. Ruin that. And then there would also be the funeral home address going the back. Acknowledgements are going the back. Basically like a thank you for the family. But of course we're gonna change the colors. I'm gonna raise it to the top so you can see it. If you hit command and then the brackets, you can move layers up and down. Or you can just drag it up to the top if that's <coughs> if that's easier for you. So Let's go back to the black right there. Wow. Um, this is cool, but now it's like it's sort of hard to read. So maybe if we invert it, let's try that. Nah, I got to get rid of that because it's it's tough to, to read it. So we'll put Tony up here. If you hit this, you can do a gradient mask or a layer mask, I mean, and then click the gradient, put black in the foreground, and then you can scroll that up. 
sort of fade that bottom away. So, yeah, the acknowledgement should go here. Uh, all bears. And then there just be a list of guys that go right here. Or you can do a poem, like I said. Let's put sunrise. And then sunset. Wow. Yeah. I'll actually even here, let's let's do duplicate command J on this, because I like that font. And then let's Pull out the type tool. Let's select all of this and just put Paul Bearer. I'm just going to put a bunch of spaces. I think that's how you spell Paul Bearer. Sorry if it's not to you. Uh, to the to the grammar and spelling police out there. So basically, it would just be, there's usually like six of them. So I'll just do bam, bam, bam. That's actually eight, so yeah. I think there's six. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's six of them. So bam, the paw bearers will go there. And then, that's it. Then you can move on to the other side, except I'm still not quite satisfied with this side for some odd reason. I like that color, that's cool. Should I put, I'm gonna do a new layer, put my gradient back out with the black, and drag this over. I think maybe this should just be darker. Whoa, that's a little too dark. Okay, and then since it's darker, then maybe this will look cool in white though. Perhaps. So I'll just highlight all of those and change it to white. I like that. I'm gonna duplicate this too and bring this up here because I think that that would look cool as well. If this was behind that and it was in white or in gold or something. Let's try one of these gold colors. Sort of a soft yellow. I'm gonna double click this and see how it would look if I add a gradient to it. Oh wow, that's dope. I like that. Maybe overlay. Uh, I like soft light more. So I got it on soft light blend mode 100%. The gradient is a typical one, white to black, the basic. And just hit OK. Double click on this again. Maybe I want a drop shadow. Um, let's see. Don't want it to be blue though. Maybe black or like a. Man, I don't. I don't want a drop shadow. Don't want it to bevel. Wow. Oh, take the black off. Let's see how it looks. That's kind of cool. I like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom one. So I'll just do, right click on that and do a copy layer style. And then go back to my original one. And paste layer style, bow, 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 bow. See how easy that was to just copy paste. Okay, let's use Baskerville for this too. Not semi bold. I wonder if it'd be too much to, here, let's see how it would look if we highlighted these guys too. I like that. I'm gonna duplicate that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna duplicate that and then I'm just free transforming it to fit every title 
just to make it stand out a little more. Sometimes you gotta zoom in to really see what's happening here. Okay, I'm gonna put one more gradient over top of this because I feel like, yeah, there we go. Now I'm starting to get what I'm looking for. I like that a lot. Let's pull it up a little bit. And then this, if you take that link off there, you can just transform just the mask by itself. So I'm gonna just pull that back a little. Now one more, one last thing I want to do. Um, I got some extra documents over here. Some cutouts of Iron Man. I made this cool little texture. Let's see how this looks on here. Back. It's like sort of a bit of a military sort of camouflage pattern. I think that's kind of cool. Or like a tech, sort of like glitchy sort of effect. I'm gonna roll with that, that's dope. So this is the front and the back. Like, you know, this will be what they see when they first look at it. And then this will be the last thing that they look at. All right, I'm gonna drop this a free file for y'all to check out. So let's move on to the back side. So the back side would obviously have to be the same size as this. So that's 11 by 17, 300. Or not the back side, but you know, the inside. And I don't need that print one. Let's, uh, we wanna use some of the same fundamentals. So I'm gonna grab these last bottom four layers here and just drag them into our new document. Let's uh, move it over. Whoop. Here, let's expand it. I'm just gonna expand it. Excuse me. So I'm just gonna expand it. And then this is gonna be the inside color. Um, I wanna put like maybe a scan line in here. Let's see if I got some. Let's double click on that and let's go to our pattern overlay. That's interesting. Well, they already have. So Photoshop already has patterns created for you that you could use if you'd like, which these are actually kind of cool. I like the texture of that. So I'm gonna actually use that, that's dope. Now, let's not forget that we gotta have that halfway split so we know that this is the first page and this is the next page following. Because now we're looking at the book as if we're reading it. So we read from left to right, so first, second, okay? Now let's go to, uh, hmm. we need some Iron Man picks on the inside. But first, we need a bio and I pulled one up from marvel.com and I'm just going to copy and paste it, but I'll explain what this portion is supposed to be. This portion is basically like something about the person's life or like a short bio or just as much interesting things you can tell about their life would go here. Let's put it in there size you want to make sure like 14 is kind of big you want to make sure it's at least like no bigger no low, no smaller than 10 but 10 is kind of pushing it so I like to do like from 12 to 14 let's do size 13 
let's zoom in so we can see what's happening here okay so yeah i'm just gonna copy and paste the bio from here but this will basically be like okay he was born on this day um he worked th he worked this job he accomplished these things he had these children those children had grandchildren and you know things like that he was a part of these organizations those type of things go into the obituary part and then I don't know you can make it look kind of cool by like just I like to put the first few words make them bigger than the rest and then I don't know why my highlight thing is doing that Yeah, I like to, I don't know why my highlight thing is doing that. It's bugging out right now. But, genius inventor. Let's make it like it's a title. First few words, I like to cap lock them. Or not cap lock them, but just make them like, you know, big and nice. So let's put Tony, let's put Tony Stark's name first. I don't want genius inventor to be that big, so I'll do genius inventor, comma. Tony Stark, genius inventor. Actually, I want this to be a smaller. And then take the italicism. It, italicism. Take italics off of that. Maybe it's italicism, I don't know. I'm not a English expert. Okay, so. Maybe even like you can do like a cursive or something. Let's try. Tony Stark. So we're gonna go with that. We gotta make it even, even bigger. Tony Stark, the genius inventor okay and then it goes on to talk about how he created weapons and stuff like that which I don't know if that will go in an obituary or not officially but I don't that's what we have to work with with Iron Man I didn't take time to write um, a detailed obituary for him just relying on Marvel's hard work here so Yeah, but I imagine if Tony Stark was, if he had a real obituary, would talk about Iron Man and his technology a lot. Cause, you know, that's like his life's work. So I feel like, wow, that's dope. So this looks cool. Um, the text could be a little bit more legible. Maybe a drop shadow would help. Let's see if I like that. I'm just gonna zoom in on here. Blue, that's definitely not what I want. So you see how if you, here, let's make this a little darker. So when you're in the drop shadow under angle, if you move it around, you can see like how, it, how the shadow moves. So I want it to be like right up on it. And then just, I'm just hit okay on that. That looks cool. Still feel like that might, like if I was to print this up, it could be a little annoying to read. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just make a new layer and I'm gonna just fill it with black with the paint bucket. Whoops, meant to do black. And then maybe cut down on that some. So it's a little easier to read. 50% is a little strong, maybe 20. Okay. 
it just makes it the words stick out a little better so it's a little easier to read all right so after that the next thing would be the order of service but instead of doing that I would like to do like letters from different people he might have inspired so I'll just instead of writing the letters obviously I'll put text goes here and then I just paste that a bunch of times if you were to use this you could fill it in to however you'd like and then the rest of this I'm just going to delete it because it's just a duplication of the other the left side of the work right there the reason I duplicated it is because I want the font to be consistent now okay I'm running into another like I'm not feeling how hard this is to read so let's try to figure out what we can do to make this look cool maybe if I do the rectangle tool and then let's do like this is the curve like how the edges will be I don't want it to be sharp I want it to have a little curve so let's see how 95 looks we do something like this And then we can fill it in like that, right? And then maybe do like, oh, ooh, that's dope. I think that's cool. Let's see how it looks if it's white. A little too strong. But what if it's white on black text without the shadow, of course? No, that's tough to read also. I want to make sure things can be read. Like, that's more important than. And this type of work that's very important like it the design has to make it so that the text can be read nicely so we'll do like and then we'll sign the letter here we'll do like dear tony like this would be like someone's last words they wanted to say to him that they didn't get a chance to say and then we'll sign it like signed pepper pots or something like that or just maybe it just say pepper because you know he obviously knows it's pepper pots so and then I'll just space bar this over to the right side and then bam love Get a little smaller because that's pretty ridiculously large. And maybe that size. Yeah. Oh, let's take a hole. Jeez, what am I doing? Okay. Oh, no, sorry. So we just highlight this and I just want to bring this baseline up. So that's a little closer. So that's from Pepper. And then maybe one from like a cap. Or Steve. If you know Marvel, then you you know you know who these guys are. And then um I don't know I'm just putting things like dear Tony you know just like trying to fill it out and give you guys an idea of like how exactly it would go down sorry my mic's been rubbing and making audio weird noises okay uh, so this one will maybe come from I don't know, war machine I just put the machine because I can't remember what his real name is in the, in the comics. And then like maybe you could do like, like I don't know, just you know, just try to figure out how you can lay this out. Like let's try another 
one of these curved things, but let's do it around the entire border. But this time we're gonna take the fill away and just leave a stroke, but make the stroke white, maybe like 10 pixels or so. See how you can see it. It's like a border, you know? I just set up the overlay. Just add an extra thing to it to make it look kind of dope. And then like, you know, there'd be more pictures of Tony in here. Like one of them could, here, let's see. I actually wouldn't mind building a design around his face. Here, I'm, gonna, I'm holding command, I'm gonna click here so I can get this mask. And I want it on top of that. And I also want, we're gonna take out some of this info because I wanna try to figure out how to blend this in in a cooler way. Let's get it to like stagger around his, around his, his head. And to do that, we'll have to do here, watch this. So we'll grab our rectangle tool. We're gonna pull this down like that. Actually, here we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna take the pen tool, right? Make a path. Then we're gonna do this, make one path, hold the shift key, click to the next end. And I'm gonna click here. And when I get here, what I wanna do is go around them. all around Tony so it doesn't get too close all right and then oops connect it back to here but let's make sure that there we go so what this is is a, a text mask so I'm going to take this text here and we're going to try to fit it into here and wrap it around his body. There we go. And now I, I think I can even go back and add, like I took the last paragraph away, maybe it'll fit. This is definitely not obituary information right here this is like just a story about iron man but just getting rid of all the extra text at the bottom so it doesn't run off into the end there we go so now we got the text going around them which is very very clean perfect and since we're on this black background, let's try to, I wanna maybe put, maybe this text can be orange, you know? Like, let's try something else. Whoops, I just wanna make sure it was working. Okay, let's see. Yellow. Let's try orange. It's pretty dope right there, I kinda like that. Put also same color. All three of these. It's pretty dope and easy to read. Now let's put like uh, some action stuff on Iron Man. Like these are merged together. Just 
grab one of these. I already had these already cut out. You can do like, um, what was it called? Oh, just like a Google search and then Iron Man PNGs or obviously like if you were making an obituary, it wouldn't be that simple. You'd have to get the pictures from, you know, the people you're working with. Let's see what else we got here. I kind of want to put, the more I look at this texture, the more it's bugging me. Oh. So maybe I won't keep that pattern after all. But what I'll do is, let's see. I'll add another. Let's do this picture. Because in this picture, he looks like a, you know, like a genius. Whoops, 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 whoops. Could have used it right here, that might have been doper. Let's see. Um, oh, I think that is doper. Yeah, let's roll with that. Yeah, that's great, okay. So now I want like some type of action scene of Iron Man, like how we have on the front here, where he's flying. Okay, we're gonna put this on here, possibly, maybe, we'll see. softening the edges again. And I'm just gonna take this. Make sure it's inside the green area. There we go, that's dope. Set it to overlay and just drop that color down. dark and white I guess stand out a little more yeah I'm gonna put all of the text in white the, the titles like the dear Tony's and then perhaps let's uh, put like type in Iron Man cats you can get <laughs> pictures of these guys together and it makes it seem like you know family pictures like all oh, these are people that really knew Tony that's happy and, and Peppa oh this is this is at uh this is right before happy's I don't know 30th birthday 35th 40th 40s 40s how does happy look to you guys it was after that birthday. Oh, it was before uh, War Machine became a completely different black person. Okay, let's see. That's dope. Oh, it's, you know, the day they saved the world. For sure, if, you know, if Iron Man had an obituary, it'd be there'd have to be more letters and love than this because he pretty much, you know, he saved the planet. Or he saved half the planet, let's say that. He saved half the planet. So we're just, we're just gonna put these pictures here and, you know, collage them as if it's these guys out and, I mean, technically it is them, but it's not them as them, if you know what I mean, yeah. Maybe I'll just put him tiny. So yeah, like a lot of people like to have collages in their obituaries. Cause these are like 
these aren't just, you know, they're not just pieces of paper that tell you something about a person that just passed away. It's like a keepsake thing. Like a lot of people keep these for a very long time. So, you know, like they 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 want them to look good. Like you know, they they, they have they. People demand to have certain pictures. They demand to have certain pictures removed. Like it, it gets it gets deep. So, but if you're gonna do obituary work for other people, like it's never a bad move to get a collection of photos from the family and and collage them in any type of way you see fit inside the artwork. All right, that's enough uh, family pictures. So. Throw this in the back like this. You should never blow things up this big usually, but because it's gonna be in the background, eh, it'll be fine, it'll look good. Wow, that's a little, oh, let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna control click that, hold shift, or not control click, command click, and then I'm gonna hold shift on the next one. Command click on this other one. So I can mask these back out to being black. Let's just hit uh, in Command I to invert that. And now we have like this Tony Stark thing going on in the background. I keep wanting to say Tony Hawk, but no. And there's like, you know, I just realized I, I put this nice piece of art in the background and then I put these pictures over it. So that wasn't cool. You can see this dope piece of art right here. And this is, actually let's, let's go back to this one. Yeah, okay, final answer on that one. That's the one I'm gonna use. Oh yeah, oh yeah, get this back on white. Oh yeah, that's it right there. This would be white too. I don't know why I picked yellow. Why didn't y'all talk me out of that? Okay, bam. So, this is our Iron Man obituary. Rest in peace, Mr. Tony Stark. Thank you for your service. Thank you for saving half the world from Thanos and his crazy ass glove that he, his outer space glove that he got made by Thor's blacksmith or something so yeah uh if you got any questions leave it in the comments appreciate y'all watching as usual um hit like hit subscribe and i will show you how to make maybe another obituary next time if another cool character dies oh we could do black widow yeah maybe i'll do her all right well like i said once again thanks for watching peace out